All right, welcome to week six, day two of Cine 399, Self Park in Society. I'm the real Dr. Dre. In the barn, which I've been ripping apart, unloading my storage unit in here. You probably think I'm a crazy backwoods hick weirdo with my tractors and barns and redneck tuxedo that I wear for class, but you know, I just bought a big old piece of property so I could justify wearing overalls and not be uh, made fun of for it. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, if you were watching this on Wednesday, the day of like our class, May 6th, it is my birthday. I am 40 freaking years old. I'm still actually 39 right now, but when you're watching this, I'll be 40. Uh, and let me tell you, uh, having this happen during social distancing pandemic is the best thing ever because I don't have to have parties or hang out with people or do stuff. Uh, nothing's going to happen. I'm going to like chainsaw and do whatever the hell I want. It's going to be awesome um, anyways, but it's crazy to be really old now, feeling like really old. But anyways, hope you all are well. Um, we are going to continue on with South Park season 19. I flubbed up a little bit. Uh, we're actually going, we're supposed to watch Safe Space at the end of last class, but I, uh, I just wasn't there mentally, apparently. Uh, maybe it's allergy meds uh, getting into my head, um, but you know, it happens. So we're going to watch, actually set off today's class with Safe Space. Um, and you know, uh, listen, if you don't get it, like this is a total mocking of the concept of Safe Spaces. And you may feel a particular way about that. And I think, you know, some of the, there's validity, validity to their critique, specifically in the type of, you know, um, safe spaces that they're calling out. They're not calling out necessarily safe spaces for people who have been victimized, tortured, uh, victims of, you know, uh, sexual abuse, discrimination, um, you know, et cetera, in society. Um, they make a very pretty avid claim of, uh, of you know, whose safe spaces they're, they're, making, they're making fun of. Um, but they're talking obviously about body shaming and, and commenting on, on people who comment on, uh, on body shaming and the ways in which they do it and also making a statement about child labor and labor in general. We start to see um, now Randy is starting to not like the Whole Foods. Um, you know, because uh, they're making him, they're shaming him um, for his lack of donations, okay? Um, we have all sorts of parodies in this, in this, Vin Diesel, obviously Steven Seagal, who gets, um, you know, some grotesque body, uh, Gigi Haddad, and uh, Demi Lovato, you know, all these people have spoken out against, um, you know, body shaming and talked about safe spaces and, and stuff, and stuff like that. Um, and so they obviously go, go at them and rip into them. And uh, we have the Shameless America campaign, um, where basically the whole idea in this is like, in this episode too, is like, you're not accountable. You can't be held accountable for your actions. You know, Cartman posts a, a picture of himself online where he thinks he looks ripped and people make fun of him, okay? Um, that's kind of like the idea, you know, you're not criticized for, for your actions and your choices in social, social media and social media culture. Like if you're going to post things online, like there, there's what they call reality. So uh, think about, you know, can the internet be a safe space? Hmm. Can the internet be a safe space? In this episode, we're going to get a monologue or a speech from reality who comes at the end and gives a speech at this, you know, this sort of self-celebrating uh, event that they throw. It's a charity fundraiser. He says, you're sad that people are mean? Well, I'm sorry. The world isn't one big liberal arts co college campus. Uh, we eat too much. We take, a little, we take our spoiled lives for granted. Feel, feel a little bad about it sometimes. Now you want to put all your shit up on the internet and have every, every single person say, hooray for you? Fuck you. You're all pricks. <laughs> uh, Anyways, um, so think about, you know, reality and, and, and what reality represents. Can internet be a safe space? And what happens at the end? What does 
it mean for reality to be hung, to be killed at the end? What are they suggesting here? So I think, you know, again, we have, um, you know, a lot of stuff going on in this. So again, part of the, the arc, the PC gentrification and ads arc, and we haven't really totally got into the ads part of this yet, but it's, it's, it's kind of coming. Um, and what does it mean when Butters takes on all the hate in this, you know, uh, and what happens to him, right? Like, and the idea here is what, what happens if we just cover everything up and make it look pretty, the bad, the ugly, the reality, and we make it look pretty. It sounds like <clears throat> gentrification. Um, okay, so uh, just kind of think of how this carries through with some of those arcs and how it plays on some of those arcs. What do you, what do you think about some of this stuff, uh, et cetera? And then we will come back and we'll really start to talk about gentrification and we'll move on to um, what you watched before class and then we'll move on to the final two episodes of, of, the, uh, of the season 19 and make our way to the end.